So Adobe just released Premiere Pro CC 2018 yesterday, and they've added a ton of new features to the program. And my favorite in particular are the responsive design features that they added to the Essential Graphics panel. Now let me show you how these work. There's two in particular. You can do responsive design with time and with position. So first let's take a look at time. So I've created this graphic here in the Essential Graphics panel. It's the word France, and I've added some animation to it. So let's go to the Effect Controls panel. And look, I have an animation out and an animation in. And if we look at it, we have a position where it comes up and dissolves in, and then it dissolves out and comes back down. If you look here at the keyframes, you can see the position. We change the y-axis here. It animates in, and then it animates out. So now, what is the problem here? Why did they add these responsive design features? Well, hold on. Let me just change this so you can take a look at the keyframes in the timeline as well. And to do this, I want to look at the position keyframes here. So I'm going to right click or control click on the FX badge. And then I can go down to text France and select position. And now we're going to see those keyframes. This is going to help you uh, better understand what's, what's happening here with this responsive design feature. So, so why did they add this feature? Well, initially, if you're working with uh, keyframes and you're working with a clip here with an animation in and an animation out, and you're moving the clip around, it's, it's all fine and well. You see here the keyframes move along with the clip. The problem uh, that you encounter is when you start to trim the clip or change the duration. So let's say I want to make this shorter. So I'm going to grab the, the end here, the out point, and I'm going to drag it up, make it shorter, and we can see right away that we lost our keyframes. We lost our animation out. So if I undo this, we can see it's right there. So basically these keyframes stay where they are temporarily in time even if you move the the in and out points. So they don't move along with the in and out points. It happens over here as well. I drag the out point out further and you see the keyframes stay in the same position. So I'm going to undo that. So now with this new responsive design feature we can we can control these a little bit better. So there's two ways to do this. I'm going to show you how to do it in the effect controls panel first. So I'm going to full screen this. And right now, we can see our keyframes here. And one way to add this responsive design feature is to drag these little blue icons over here. You see one in the in point and one at the out point. If I go over and grab and then drag, oh, you have to grab the actual blue here. Grab it and drag it. Can be a little bit hard. You see here it says intro duration, and then we have a time, and I can sit here and drag it out. Now what I need to do is cover up my keyframes here. Now what this is going to do is essentially pin these keyframes to my endpoint. So no matter when I tr what, what I trim, if I move that endpoint, these are going to move along with that endpoint. And I can do the same thing for my outpoint right here. Boom. And if you saw earlier when I was grabbing this, it can be a little bit clunky. So if you want to do this in the Essential Graphics panel, you can actually manually type in the intro duration and the outro duration here, and I can adjust this. Now, also, I want you to look at the down here in the timeline. You can now see these spots here where it's pinned. If I go here and select this clip and I move these again, watch on the timeline. Those are going to move accordingly. Okay, so now we have our responsive uh, design for time set. Now let's see what happens here. I'm going to grab this. Let's say we want to make it longer. Drag it out. And there you go. Voila, our keyframes moved along with it. If I expand this, our endpoint keyframes moved as well. So that is the responsive design for time. Okay, so I've shown you how to use responsive design to control the timing of your animations of your text files. Now I'm going to show you how we can do a little bit of control over the positioning. And this is a really cool feature. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a little subtitle. And this will say the name of our location. And let's say we're working on a travel show. I'm going to center this. Let's say we're working on a travel show and each episode is going to be a different location. So we want to have a different subtitle for each episode. So we're going to be changing this for each episode. And let's say we want to have a little bit of, we want to do a little bit, we want to have a little design thing here, which is just a background, quick, down, and dirty, make the text pop out a little bit, and adjust this here, and adjust this here. Okay. So now if we go through 
let's say we're working on a weekly show and we adjust this uh, we change the name here of our subtitle let's say next week it's on Paris I changed the word Paris but then I need to go through and adjust this background well with the new responsive design features we can get this to automatically adjust I know it's not a lot of clicks to just readjust this but if you're working on a lower third uh, for names and you're doing like a bunch of different names it, it can this can really save you a ton of time so I'm gonna go ahead and rename this layer here call it black background okay now let me show you how we can do this so I have I'm gonna select the black background and if you look just below it you'll see responsive design position and there's a pin to section if I drop this down I can pin the background to any of my layers here and I want to pin it to my subtitle so that when my subtitle moves it's gonna it's gonna respond you know respond accordingly and over here we have some positioning I want it to respond on the left and right sides so if my subtitle changes at all from left to right my background will adjust accordingly so now let's see if this works I'm gonna go over to my text here I'm gonna select it select all now type in Paris and there we go our background adjusted accordingly and I can just kinda of tweak this a little bit and yeah when you start to play around with this you can get you can get it to do some pretty crazy stuff when you're working with a lot of layers and again if you're working with uh, a lot of lower thirds this can be really really helpful very very cool stuff responsive design okay I hope you enjoyed the tutorial if you did hit that like button also why don't you tell me what your favorite new feature of Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2018 is I'd love to hear from you also be sure to subscribe to my channel I'm gonna be posting more tutorials about some of the other new features for Premiere Pro and After Effects and maybe even Audition also, I have a contest going on for another few weeks. It's going on into early November. If you go and check out my 22 Premiere Pro Tips video and you leave a comment, you like it, and you share it, you'll be entered into a drawing for a free Logic Keyboard skin. So be sure to check that out and subscribe to the channel. Have a good one.